Hello and welcome back to Nat 20, <laughs> the Christmas special. Uh, on the previous episode, uh, our party of adventurers had managed to upgrade their access card and Hell yeah. craft a whole bunch of supplies and equipment. They're really decked out now. Uh, right after that, they broke into Santa's house and uh, tried to find their way onto the other side. But before that could happen... Uh, Jerry got attacked by a bunch of armored snowmen, which they dealt with pretty quickly. Now, you guys are on the main floor of Santa's house, covered by snow and water. Uh, What's your plan? I'm going to go downstairs and get one of the KKK contracts on the desk. Uh, It's like maybe five feet away from you. It's It's on the desk. Okay. I'm going to stick uh, beside Santa the whole time. I'm going to go to the main floor, take all of the paintings that are on the wall, and just... Yeah, so you guys are already on the main floor? Them. Yeah. Uh, you take a look at the paintings, and the people that were in the paintings are no longer there. Now it's just kind of pretty backgrounds. Some castles in some of them. Uh, they just look like landscape portraits now. I, I don't trust them, so I'm just going to burn them all. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bombadil, those are mine <laughs> You manage to collect them up into a pile And make a little bonfire Okay, sweet <clears throat> So is it for sure the contracts is why the portals Well, we're gonna try and see right. We don't know Bombadil, sign this With your blood <laughs> Stab my hand and Oh, yeah, I did <laughs> Okay, I thought I was gonna have to do it Okay, well, <laughs> cool He signs the contract I go back upstairs and see if the portal's open I follow You do not see a portal Fuck I don't want to take the suit off. Do you follow them, Bombadil? Yeah. You see a portal. Ooh. Oh, fuck. I go to the portal and say, do you guys not... Do you guys not see this? And then I stick my hand through again. <laughs> <laughs> you literally just see his hand disappear through the wall. Well... Um... Fuck. Well, that's well, that something. Okay. Is, uh... Is it... That's because you signed the contract, right? Ooh, is that why? It would seem so. Okay. What, what does that mean? Where's why don't I see it, Dan? Well, I burned your old contract. You burned my contract? <laughs> well, yeah. Why? I thought I was working for Santa Claus well, here. Well, you were lied to. It wasn't Santa. It was someone else. We <gasps> don't know yet. No shit. But it's okay. Cause... Bob, please stop at this. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry <laughs> Mr. Snowberry I'll have you know you address this man as Mr. Claus or Santa Claus and nothing underneath that Jerry I'll cut you where you stand <laughs> <laughs> and I think Bob would know it that you're you because he saw the weapons you're using that's true I don't care. I'm just role playing. Yeah, I, know. <laughs> I, I just wanted to put that, like, what okay. my thoughts are. <clears throat> my intelligence is going to be too low. <laughs> okay. Whatever. It is. I'm going to go back downstairs, get three more contracts, bring them back up. Everybody sign these. Now. Sign oh. this. Copy that, Santa. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, With your blood. Just a little. Just a little. Just a I, I hand out my. Uh, Will forever and stab themselves. So. Okay. I am not going to use it. <laughs> no. I grab it and it just same thing as last time. Just whoosh, across the face. <laughs> no. And I just knee slap that paper. Oh, man. Now, okay. I feel like your hand wouldn't have fully healed by then. <laughs> So oh. are, you, are you really going in the same cut? Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm. I mean, that's what this says. Uh, that's what the numbers say. That is, that is nasty. Mm. <laughs> I, I think that might get infected. Well, I'm going to wrap it up at least afterwards so oh, it doesn't please. continue bleeding. But. Okay. Well, you guys all managed to sign the contract with your blood, and you now all see the portal back up. Yeah. All right. Let's walk through the portal. Let's go get him, boys. <laughs> Wait, um, as our halfling selves, do we contain the halfling's traits? No. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so are halflings resistant to poison? I uh, fear the... Fear. The stout. Right? Stout, yeah. That's what I am. Oh, okay. okay. Cool. Uh, you guys make way onto the other side. Uh, you see what uh, Bombadil had described to you. Uh, to... Uh, platforms on either side with a whole bunch of slaves working at workbenches. A man that looks very much like Santa, but in a red suit on the far side. 
uh, sitting on top of a jail that ha- that is housing someone else that looks very much like Santa and Mrs. Claus. All right, I say uh, we shoot that guy with a rocket launcher, <laughs> with a grenade launcher, <laughs> and uh, let's we can take it from there. I like your idea. The guy with the whip, seeing you guys walk through the portal, he welcomes you with open arms oh. and says, "Welcome to the other side." I go back through the portal. And I go to grab, make sure I have my anvil and my tricycle. And I, come I, would, I would assume that you would have. Okay, never mind. Never mind, I don't do that. Is he uh, within grenade distance? What <laughs> <laughs> an amazing thing to ask. Don't um, hit my wife. Yes? Um, I, I say to, uh, I'm sorry, you bar- <laughs> Barnabas. <laughs> Barbarous. I say to Barnabas, I uh, say, I'm like, I, like, kind of walk over to you and, like, kind of whisper. I'm like, hey, so I noticed you were dropping anvils li- before. Lucky for you, I got two more in this sack of mine. <laughs> that well, I think, you don't say. Yeah, I'm thinking, you know, if you're going to drop one, you might as well drop three of those bad boys. Well, just call me Artillery Dan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, all right, we'll hand them over. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> No, wait, what are you doing? Don't do that. No. So as you guys are conversing between each other, you can see the, the big red man on the pedestal walk down the stairs uh, as he's starting to kind of approach you guys, trying to get closer to talk to you guys. Quick, hand me the uh, we turn our <laughs> Can I throw Chucky? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we turn our backs, and I give him the anvils quick. Okay. I get on my tricycle, and I go... <laughs> Immediately, I get my tricycle and I go right. up in the air. I don't look threatening. I just go up on my tricycle. He looks pretty bewildered by that. <laughs> <laughs> also. <laughs> He's like, all right. Okay. Um, I got to research some of these. Uh, I will command him to stop where he is. I like to imagine that you still have to pedal when you're flying. <laughs> That's <laughs> what I imagine. Yeah. 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 <laughs> And I imagine your takeoff is not like immediate. It's like super gradual. Yeah, yeah. it's like, <laughs> like you're slowly going up. <laughs> He's like approaching to talk to us. <laughs> it's like the bike for me too. Yeah, I was thinking yeah. the same. Yeah. Thing. You're my friend, DT. And you're not mine. <laughs> and I as yours. It's a direct quote from the director. No. <laughs> James Cameron. Um, it was based off a true story. He just James Cameron actually got to talk to an alien and no one believes him. So seeing you fly up into the air, this man in the red tuxedo also starts to kinda hover and he kinda floats up in the air and HALT slowly <laughs> flies closer towards you. Come no further! <laughs> Make a U turn! <laughs> he just kinda has his Hands wow. like this, and he's floating towards you. I take out my bat and I just like keep my hand out. like, "Do not come any further." He stops when he's about five feet away from you, just just right outside of your reach. And just like, "Oh, what do we have here? Another halfling come to the fodder?" I have you know I'm an enforcer. <laughs> you know there is. Santa does, does not employ enforcers anymore. Oh, well, uh, have you believed that that Santa right there, the real Santa, does? <laughs> he, kind of, he kind of peeks around you down at him. Give back my wife! <laughs> well, that fat bastard is Santa. How dare you speak of Santa that way? Okay. No, you know, that's a predicament because... Shoot him with a grenade now! He points behind him towards the jail cell. That fat bastard I got in there... That's the real Santa. You said it was a woman. I well, said there was two people. Oh. Yeah, there's Santa and... Can I throw Chucky? <laughs> oh. Uh, sh- <laughs> yeah. Uh, you, guys will, remorse. you guys will immediately enter initiative. Right That's after. fine. Okay. Do you I guys just, want to? Not yeah. yet. Not yet? Not okay. yet. No, okay. dude, I don't care. I want to go... I stop caring. I'm going to go free Santa. If I can. Okay. You guys Let's distract him. First. You guys distract him. You're literally a giant dude dressed up as Santa. You'll never know. I'm a I'm a halfling. I'm now, stealthy. This You're five four now. I'm still a halfling. You're thinking Charlie. I'm still stealthy. <laughs> now look, this little 
thing you got in that cage over there, that is obviously a trick, a trickery of some kind, right? This right here? I do agree that that person is a thing. He does not deserve to be called a person. What? Because it's not Santa. Neither are you. This is the one true Santa right here. Oh, I agree that I'm not Santa. Exactly. You're some phony bitch. I am Krampus, (laughs) and you will address me as such. I will not address you as anything but uh, non-Santa, all right? Now, look. (laughs) I'm not entirely sure what we're doing here because I work under Santa's orders, but you are not to come any closer near my Santa. Okay. What if I became the real Santa? You can't. And he kind of just waves his hand in front of himself and looks exactly like Bob. Demon! He he morphs himself to look exactly like Bob. Santa! (laughs) Now do you believe that I am the real Santa? No! (laughs) Don't trust him! Uh, But... Who... Do you really want to trust that, that fat bastard behind you? When anyone can pretend to be a Santa. I oh. told you it was Bob! <laughs> oh, you know what? I don't know the answer to this. Who made me his enforcer? Hmm? Which Santa? Santa. Raise your hand. This one. <laughs> <laughs> the Krampus will raise it as well. I, I say to this you, I'm like, Krampus, more like Krampus. <laughs> I throw you off the reel. <laughs> well, now this is interesting, I mean. Krampus, why are you doing this? Please throw a check yet. Yeah, let's just, let's get the I am trying to save Christmas. You see all these workers I have? They're making toys for all the good little boys and girls. Seems legit. But why are you... Why do they look so worn out? Oh, you think that fat bastard was treating them any better? I, I don't know. These... Santa? These little halflings were not paid... In years. Are they paid now? That is not the point, <laughs> young young man. No, no, that's true. Santa will be taking good care of his workers, aren't they? Being I'm going to throw Chucky. No, wait. How far away are the workers? Um, I can show you the map. Okay. I, w- I would say roughly 20 feet. Oh, okay. If you guys came out of the portal, you still hell hounds in the middle. Yeah. And then they are all lined up on all these workbenches. Yeah. And then that's the jail. I'm going to w- approach one of the workers. Um, as you're kind of stepping towards him, you can see um, Krampus. He literally just appears in front of you as you're trying to walk towards the oh, place. Oh, that's neat. And I just walk around him. <laughs> so he pops out in front of you just like where are you going oh um, <laughs> don't fucking move man uh how far away am i from the workers you would have been about 10 feet from okay. the okay. from the stairs by now i'll stop and i'll yell at one of the workers and i'll be like do you prefer this or the old santa can i still I mean, what are you going to try and stop? I want to go. I want to go over to the cage where the real Santa is, where the real clauses are. You'd have to either go through Hellhounds to get there, or try and skirt around one of the platforms. Uh, how difficult would it be to skirt around one of the platforms? I mean, the hounds would see you kind of like walking off to the side, because you guys are like right next to the portal. And it's kind of just open space. Yeah. And then you got the two platforms roughly 20, 25 feet to the other side. And then it's just a long walkway straight down the middle to the jail. I uh, I don't recall. Did I use my baseball for the super launcher when I made it? I think you did. Was it the yeah. baseball? Yeah. The, okay, damn. Also, the halflings ignore you as you shout oh. into them. Great. Never mind then, I think. Now, fake Santa, uh, my employees, as they have been contracted, they have learned better than to uh, negotiate with distractions. I feel like you're evil. I am just trying to make the world a better place. I'm going to pedal in between them. <laughs> <laughs> Just ride up on your own. <laughs> <laughs> right. 
<laughs> now hold on a minute. Which one are you? Right, Santa again? <laughs> I kind of looked away for a moment. <laughs> you guys are kind of swapped places here. I am, of course, the real Santa. All right. And what's your excuse? I'm Bob. I told you! I'm Bob! I told you! Well, then you're the real Santa. No! Like I said. Well, if you're not real Santa, then who's real Santa? The guy real in the Santa, cage! The guy in the cage. Well, why would Santa be in a cage? Santa don't go in the cage. Because this one locked him up. Because Krampus is Krampus. He went in the cage of his own volition. What do you got? I did not lay a single hand on him. There you have it. The Santa I... speaks. Don't believe you. Bob, take that silly thing off, all right? You don't need to be looking like Santa if you're not Santa. He'll raise his hand and put his other hand over his heart. I promise you, with my soul, I did not lay a hand, single hand on this Santa. Yeah, because you probably got your means to do it. Do you even have a soul? <laughs> <laughs> I do have a soul. How dare you question Santa? I have many soul. souls. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. All right. Let's, let's kill him. Guys is... <laughs> what? All right. You shoot your grenade launcher, and I'll shoot my super launcher at the same time. I get in the way. I'm going to throw Chucky in the first. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm actually, gonna... no, I guess because if, if, if your thing hits, it'll hit Chucky, too. So, yeah, grenade launcher. For sure. <laughs> I get right in the middle of Block Santa, in, like in front of the, the Santa that Grand I believe is Santa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me talk to Santa. You're talking to him You're right talking now? To Let me Santa. talk to the guy in the cage. Tony. Well, Santa, I mean, he'll uh, like, he'll yeah. lay a hand on you. Didn't he go in front? I am. And I then think he's Santa. <laughs> teleport you and himself in front of the jail cage. Okay. Santa. <laughs> <laughs> so they'll immediately <laughs> transport themselves from near the stairs to the jail cage, and it's like, okay, talk to Santa. I begin pedaling to Santa. <laughs> <laughs> the hellhounds kind of growl as you get closer towards them. Scooch, Scoochie! <laughs> like they're kind of like showing their teeth and not letting you pass. I go up oh and over. <laughs> as you go up, they kind of just fall right, be- right below you. Well, I hover over Santa. Mister Claus, what is going on here? You, you kind of take a look at him, and you can see that he is very beaten and. The whole one side of his face is kind of like swollen, and uh, he looks pretty much passed out and half ready to die. And he's just kind of groans and moans at you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, is Mrs. Claus in similar shape? Uh, Mrs. Claus seems to be relatively fine. She kind of huddles over to him and okay kind of tends to him a little bit and he's like what do you want leave us alone you've done more than enough <laughs> how did this happen who the fuck are you <laughs> that doesn't matter <laughs> should i help you or not i mean no one wants to spend their life in a cage good point what about all these workers D- i mean they're making toys for christmas that's at least what Krampus told us, and I can see that they're making toys. Why did he feel the need to take the operation into his own hands? You know, Santa's been wanting to retire for many years now. He uh he's been trying to look for a successor, but no one no one was really fitting the bill. <laughs> I have a solution. <laughs> I'll be the successor. Santa can retire. You. Me. Look at me. I'm the perfect Santa Claus. I got the beard and everything. Now, why would I choose you over this other guy? I wouldn't put you in a cage. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty convincing. <laughs> I mean, I... that is a good point, but how do I know you're not just going to use all those wish rolls for your own power? I don't care. I don't need it. This other guy, he, he's he been here for about like three months already. If he wanted to use the wish scrolls, he would have. So you think he's doing a good job? I just know that he's trying. Insane. So, wait, you're the real Santa? Yes, 
This is my husband. He is Santa. Oh, that's real Santa. <laughs> <laughs> what well, then who's the guy below me? He's might be the new successor. A fake Santa. If you want to call him that, yes. God damn, I drop an anvil on it. On me or on Krampus? On Krampus. Okay. Sorry. Okay. I've okay. seen enough. Let's kill Krampus. Yeah, well, that definitely counts as a surprise attack. I, wish you know. I was not expecting that, and he was not expecting that either. Gage and I are going to shoot the hellhounds. Okay, well, after this surprise attack, initiative starts. Okay. Um, I guess roll strength. Oh, come on, dude. Nope. <laughs> uh, ten. Is that me? Total of ten. If, you, if you, Krampus didn't see it coming, uh, do I get advantage? <laughs> ten. You managed to plop this anvil down. You did it pretty hastily after hearing the choice words from Mrs. Claus. So confused. <laughs> Uh, but you do manage to hit Krampus straight on top of his head. <laughs> Kick that, you phony bitch! <laughs> and now you take an anvil. Uh, <laughs> nice. That was that was good. Thanks, man. Now I'm keeping sure out of the slow cooker. Everyone roll initiative now. Why am I rolling so low for these? Oh my. Krampus. I'm just gonna head and give myself advantage on this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what'd you guys roll? Nine. Twelve. Eight. Sorry, math. Eight? Eight. Jesus. Yeah. Eight as well. Yes. Freedom. God bless. Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay, and then the hellhounds. Okay. Uh, fuck, where would they be? Most minimal. Krampus goes first. That's not fair. I rolled an 18 plus 2. So, first thing he's going to do is disappear. We won. <laughs> <laughs> the battle has been fought and the war has been won. <clears throat> so, you can see where his footprints used to be. And then he literally just, it looks like he vanished. And that'll be his turn. Uh, which brings us to Jerry. You'll be next. All right, I want to shoot one of the super launchers at. Uh, my, or I'm going to shoot my super launcher, um, at the hellhound. Okay. Um, and mine, like I made with just a baseball, so there's like no explosive. It just shoots like a yeah I, baseball, I guess, or like a what, or like a yeah, bullet. it shoots a baseball. Okay. Um, I think I told you one d eight. I got 10. you said one d ten plus yeah, yeah. one, and it's blood. blood yeah, so it. you get your bonus from the bludgeoning as well. Oh, sweet. All right. Yeah, so I guess that's... Okay, sweet. So I'm going to shoot... I'm going to shoot my shot. And that's uh, with dexterity then? Yes. Dexterity I hit. And proficiency? Yes. Uh, 15 plus 8. Yes. Uh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it, dude. Um, so then... 12. 12 diamond? Yes, sir. Well, blood on ang. Okay. Bitch. <laughs> nice. <laughs> a batter up. <laughs> you ready to launch and you shoot this hellhound straight in the face. Uh, leaving a nice, decent bruise. Next stop is going to be Bombadil. I'm going to fire my grenade launcher at the hellhound that uh, Jerry just hit. Okay. Are you going to try and hit him head on? Yeah. Okay. It's uh twenty three. Okay. Uh nine damage. Right. Oh wait, Pause so break. it also does the What sound do you have make? Yeah. One D four. It's thirteen damage. <laughs> okay. So that's four four bludgeoning and yeah, four bludgeoning and then uh eight fire plus my one. Okay. So you can see you hit this uh, hellhound right in the face, and it blows up right in their face, engulfing all the other hellhounds in fire. They don't seem to be affected at all by the fire. Yeah. They they fucking cherish that. And uh, so. right after that is going to be 
Okay, I gotta take a break. Okay, so after you guys had attacked these hellhounds and Krampus, um, due to sudden circumstances, we'll have to cut this short. Uh, you guys go through a fight with Krampus. You guys get him down to enough health. He transforms out of his sorcerer state into a more demon-like state. Bombadil probably dies. <laughs> Most likely. <laughs> Honestly, I probably also would die there, in this fight. There would probably be a couple of deaths. I'll be Santa. Um, a lot of uh, collateral damage as well. And uh, you guys eventually would have beat Krampus. And uh, would have... The new Santa going to be his successor, Bob. A fucking old dude. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. He's going to go into retirement soon anyways. Mm-hmm. Um, what do you do with old Santa? I'll just leave him be. I don't want to... I don't want to kill him or anything. So like, I'll just let him go into retirement if that's what he wants. Okay. So you'll let them out and Mrs. Claus uh, gives you a little hug and leads Mr. Claus... Well, I guess Santa. I guess he wouldn't be called Santa anymore. Uh, you lead them through the portal, and you manage to... Uh, as soon as you guys had defeated Krampus, all the locks on these guys' prisoners, uh, all their chains get broken open, and they all follow you through the portal. They all seem a little happier. They had been living the last three months in this hellish world just trying to survive against Krampus's whip and uh as soon as everyone makes it back through the portal uh all the presents that Krampus had created uh will follow you as well and mis- mysteriously appear in the storeroom right next to the sleigh and <laughs> Mrs. Claus will approach Bob as the new Santa make out stop and Sorry. She, she's actually going to hand you a booklet, her own little booklet, with uh, Mrs. Claus written on the, on the front, and be like, there's one additional clause that you need to sign in order to become <clears throat> the true Santa. You have to marry her. This is not uh, non-negotiable. As she passes you this binder. I'll sign it. You sign it, and you now are... Husband and wife. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! You are now the new Santa oh with Mrs. God. Claus at your side. And she now fulfills her role of prepping you to ride out all the presents to all the good little boys and girls on your sleigh. And uh, you now have a full company underneath your name. Wow. And to think I was about to retire. The CEO. <laughs> can, uh, can I still work there? I want to be yeah. like your right hand man, or like can, uh, hey, 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 hey. Well, no, I just want to be the right hand, like from the start. You also see Molly and oh, Jingle yeah. and oh my god, uh, you can fire. Yeah, me. I guess those are the only two that. You, <laughs> <laughs> those are the only two that you had met beforehand before they disappeared into the other side, and all the other employees as well. Okay, okay. Um, Molly did a good job. I feel like she was a little overworked, so I'll cut her some slack for yeah. her breakdowns. She's um, pretty uh, flabbergasted at what happened, yeah. and she approaches you, shakes your hand, like, nice to meet you, new Santa, <laughs> and they give you a little pat on the back, really glad to be back. Jingles walks up and blows smoke in your face. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> I'll let you stay, <laughs> but Good. don't test me. <laughs> I still got my job. And after that, uh, yeah, this company has to do with what you want. You, just, you guys have successfully saved Christmas, defeated Krampus and his evil plot to also save Christmas. <laughs> and uh, happily ever after. Jingle, you can be my right hand man. Yes! You can be my main enforcer. Wait, Jingle or Jerry? Jerry. Is okay, so freaking smoking! Except you're going to enforce niceness. Nice. Not through force. All right, done. Okay. <laughs> yes. I was the Santa. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining us for this Christmas special. And that was Santa Claus 3. <laughs> <laughs> the return of the yes. Santa. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>
Awesome. Okay. Well, thanks, Zach. Yeah, yeah thanks, no Zach. Fuck. Now we can go beat up Clayton for getting a flat tire. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, Clayton! Bye, gamers. Please leave that in. <laughs>